navigating small jobs to land bigger contracts. That's what we're going to talk about today. Sometimes it's easy to want to just ignore uh, small projects that come your way, and in doing so, you may miss the opportunity uh, to take on much larger projects. And so we're going to go through a couple of things uh, today that will be helpful to you. We also have a guide on our blog uh, where you can read more about this particular topic. So when we talk about small jobs, one of the things you want to be thinking about is strategic small jobs. So obviously everybody wants bigger projects, bigger jobs, uh, things that have more revenue behind them. But oftentimes those smaller jobs really are the doorway to larger projects. And so we want to be looking for those strategic small jobs that give you the opportunity to expand the scope of work so that it becomes a bigger project or leads to more repeat business. And so things that are going to be, you know, in this wheelhouse are going to be things like uh, kitchen refreshes, wall additions, lighting enhancements. What they're going to do is they're going to allow you to showcase your abilities, but then also make recommendations for additional services and projects that would enhance the overall value of what the homeowner is having you do for them. And so next step in this whole process is it allows you to start a new client relationship and you can then cultivate that client relationship. So you need a good starting point. Sometimes this small project is just a place for you to get your foot in the door and then to begin building that longer term, deeper, more profitable relationship with the customer. Um, you can use methodologies like discovery calls as a means of initiating those conversations uh, to get you know, a personal interaction going to begin to develop a, a customized strategy, a long-term strategy. You know, one of the things you may want to be looking at is, you know, a phase one, phase two, phase three type conversation. So there's always this expectation that there's more to come. You want to be able to demonstrate, of course, your expertise through these small projects. It's a place for you to add uh, more showcase work to your portfolio uh, that you can show off to attract new customers, new business, new clients. So you always want to be documenting the work that you do, no matter how big or small. Uh, take lots of pictures, take lots of video, uh, reels and shorts, and all of those things are of great benefit to you. And so make sure you're making those documentations all the way through. Uh, of course, manage the projects effectively. Make sure that uh, whatever expectations you set out at the beginning, as far as timeline goes, as far as cost goes, uh, that we go ahead and make sure that those things are met. They're met in a timely manner. They're met uh, at the budget that's been stated. And, of course, even better, if you can be a little under budget, uh, that always adds some feel-good uh, sentiment to the consumer. Uh, you want to look for those opportunities to upsell and cross-sell. And this is one that I think uh, gets missed a lot. And that is look for those opportunities to say, hey, you know, while we're already in here doing this, what if we did this little extra piece? Uh, what if we extended this a little further? What if we, um, you know, did some additional you know, modification work or some additional, you know, floor work, tile work. You know, what are those those additional services that you can cross-sell or upsell? Hey, yeah, you know, once we, you know, deal with these uh, countertops, um, cabinets are going to need some work. It's just not going to look quite right. So those are things that uh, you want to be constantly doing, looking for those cross-sell, upsell opportunities. And here's the thing, the more services that you can uh, bring into the equation, the stickier it makes that consumer. And so look for those opportunities. Obviously, anybody that's happy with your work, you want to get that positive feedback. You want to get those testimonials, have them leave a Google review, have them leave a Facebook review. 
And uh, if possible, have them even do a video testimonial for you. Those case studies are powerful. And the more of those things you can do, the better. Um, and of course, Google is always looking for signals and good reviews are a signal. Uh, when somebody talks about that new kitchen or that new bathroom or you know that renovation work, the new addition, whatever it is you've done for them, um, that's keyword rich content that Google is going to pick up on. And the more frequent you're getting those reviews, the more relevant you become in the eyes of the search engine. Um, transitioning from those small to large scale contracts. So to bridge the gap, what you want to do is prepare detailed proposals uh, that show your capability, that show that you're able to handle larger projects. If you're delivering consistent, high quality work on time, on budget, um, and that's what you're known for, it's going to be a lot easier for you to scale up to those larger projects. And of course, uh, communication is, is key. You've got to be communicating. Here's the other thing about that. You can grow to a point where uh, you've got to rework your infrastructure a little bit. So, you know, as larger projects come on board, you may have to add some personnel. You may have to add some systems. There may be some automations that you have to put in place. There may be some technology that needs to come in place. So be thinking about all of those things as well. Of course, remember this, small jobs are more than just minor wins. They are a strategic asset in your quest to land bigger home remodeling projects. So don't lose sight of that. Every project is valuable. Every relationship leads to more opportunities. And so you want to continue to nurture those relationships. And by doing so, you're going to have the opportunity to gain larger projects, bigger projects more frequently. Just make sure that as you scale up in the size of project, that you are also scaling up your business infrastructure to handle it, that you are scaling up your marketing so that you are conveying the proper message to the proper people. And uh, the more of those large scale projects you do, they simply are the springboard to even more work for you in the days ahead. Hope you find this helpful. And if we can be of service to you, schedule a strategy session with us. Uh, we'd love to come alongside you as your marketing partner.